And, with that victory, Dratini is evolving too. Welcome to episode 2 of uh, the Teal Mask DLC playthrough. Yeah, Pink Dragonair. I kind of wish it stayed pink when it evolves again, but, you know, green green dra Dragonair is fine too. You'll, you'll see. Uh, they say that if it emits an aura from its whole body, the weather will begin to change instantly. I, I thought I had read that wrong. I did not. <laughs> we get more Yandere bit bullshit from this girl. Hey, Wowzers, you went and beat my sis? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me and my three unevolved Pokemon. Uh, fine, I guess you passed, barely. Uh, seems I've got no choice. I'll let you into town, but only if you become one of my grunts and do every th little thing I... I have a fiancé. Oh, she meant like... She meant like... Follower. Oh, okay, I get it. Here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki. We're out of here. But I... Wait up, sis. Hi, Kieran. And another one. Why, hello there, stranger. Uh, I say in my one old man voice, uh, you must be one of the students from the Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in the most sweet town, and a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group dur during our visit. I hope those two kids weren't gi giving you any grief just now, were they? They absolutely were. <laughs> uh, I hardly know what to do with the two of them, especially that car mine. Always been a handful, that one. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. Yeah, it's cool. Whatever, I can handle it. What's that? A member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop? I didn't say that. You must have read my mind, which, you know, makes things easier. I'd better get over there and give them a hand uh, so they can make it into town. All right. I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled in the community center. Bye. Bye. All right, let's um, look around a little bit. This place is pretty cool. I probably only have enough time right now to record one more episode. So let's, uh, let's try to get the most out of it, shall we? Swine up, swine up is back, that's cool. Apples in nature, okay. Um, say hi to swine up first, apparently. <laughs> Welcome to Mosby Town. Uh, we are known for our apples and the natural beauty all around us. Oh, that's what you meant, okay. I know there's a, there's a new apple in evolution. I don't know, know if I care enough about it to use it, though, because it looked fine, but it looked kind of goofy. I like how there's actually stuff back here. They did not need to put stuff back here. Just wish you could interact with more of it. It's cool though, like there's cool set pieces throughout here. Um, can I get on? Yes, yeah, okay. I can get on cried on now. Metronome, interesting. Was was metronome in the game? I kinda thought it wasn't. That's a little weird. that. Amnesia. Perfectly fine move. Was much better in Generation 1. Are you a shop? Can I buy things from you? Uh, sure. Mumu milk. Always up for a few Mumu milks. Something that both of my characters um, share is their love of Mumu milks. Oh, I don't want more. <laughs> uh, okay. It's kind of, kind of a little bit of everything. There's, there's like picnic stuff here too. This might be the most efficient place to buy a lot of this stuff, actually. Like in the whole game. Weird. You can sell here too, which is interesting. Do I have anything I can sell? Kind of want to hold on to a lot of this stuff. Usually I wouldn't, but like going into like a like a DLC thing where. I'm, where I'm going to be adventuring around again. I kind of want to, again. Don't need this, though. Useless. Um, I should actually probably EV my guys a little bit, too. That's fine. I'll, I'll do it later. See if anyone can learn TMs, too. Um, you can have the 
Now, did I see... Buy clothing, yes. What do we got? Show it to me. Oh, just socks and gloves, okay. Can I, like, get a look at them? Um, okay. Alright, um, I'm, I'm fine with what I've got, actually. Kind of hoping, like, we, we saw an outfit in the trailers. I'm, I was kind of hoping it would be here, but it's not. Run right through this garden here to grab this energy root. Hi, uh, Hoot Hoots. Hi, Hoot Hoots. Hoot Hoot. I did a challenge with one of you guys. You're pretty cool. Yeah, this is real pretty, actually. This is, like, really good. Really, really well done environments. Raid dens all over the place. Oh, I wanted to look over here. It's Vulpixes. There's just Vulpixes hanging out up there. Can I, like, encounter them? Or can I not, because we're, like, in a town? Cute. I'm not gonna use Crydon a ton. I don't know. Oh, Freaking X, X, X attack. I don't care about that. I'm not gonna use Crydon a ton. Because I want to explore things kind of as the game intends me to. And like, just like the the uh, Sword and Shield DLCs, you're, you were kind of supposed to come back to this place multiple times over the course of your playthrough. So like it's gonna it's gonna be a little like staggered. But like the the early stuff here you were supposed to be able to get through it with just the basic abilities of your guy. So um there's another thing up there. So um, I'm probably gonna mostly do that. But also I'm not gonna pass up on like, new TMs and stuff either, so. Charge, that's cool. And rare candy. Pretty neat. This place has got, like, a treasure trove of stuff, frankly. Alright. Um. I guess I just healed a minute ago. But let's heal again anyway. Yeah, she does have a different design. She looks kind of like Jessie. Cute. She's cute. Let's, um, do that thing I said. Actually, let's see what, if there's any new TMs first. Filter. Okay. Sure. Filter from Runnable Moves. Okay. That's neat. Um,. Can I sort them? Are they sorted by number? Oh, I just have some favorited ones. Up. What was that? Oh, there are. There is new stuff. Look at this. Oh, it's the Tudor moves from Isle of Armor. Toxic. Oh, I, it doesn't look like everybody can learn it anymore. It sucks a lot, actually. See if I have any good TMs for my guys. Uh, let, let's do Fire Fang. Just for funsies. Um, hmm. Place Yawn, probably. Yawn's a... Yawn's a good move, but, like, I want more type diversity on here. Um... Is Magical Leaf good coverage on Sylveon? What moves does Sylveon know right now? Um, I doubt I'm ever actually going to use Charm. I only had it on there because Eevee needs to know a fairy move to evolve into Sylveon. Draining Kiss is actually also pretty good. That's 40. Yeah. 
Just wholesale better. All right. Can't learn Dragon Claw. Yeah, it needs claws first, I guess. I think I could put, put Dazzling Gleam on Sylveon too, but like I think I think I'm fine right now. One of the ways I'm gonna make this uh, more challenging is by um, ooh, actually that's really good. Uh, one of the ways I'm gonna make this a little more challenging, I think, is by purposefully not putting great moves on some of my stronger guys for now. Okay. That took that took a long freaking time. Probably cut a lot of that out. Who freaking knows? We'll find out. And um get get wrapped into a cutscene, I guess. This way, everyone. AJ, I owe you one for fetching the caretaker. Our little travel buddy is feeling much better now, too. Good for him, I guess. All right, everyone, this is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. The plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together, but it turns out this space is going to be all for you, our visitors from Naranja Academy. All right, those two kids were originally from this town, weren't they? That makes sense. Uh, so come in, don't be shy. Cool. A little bit, a little slow to start this DLC, but part of that's my fault. Come on, everyone, pack right in. He says that like this is a small place, but it's actually pretty big. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. Uh, you can leave them on in here if they're extra dirty. Just try to rinse the uh, worst of it off using the washing station by the door. All right. Wasn't really worried about that. I guess that's like their way of saying that we're in a more Japanese-inspired area now than we were before. A nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good as anything you'd find in one of your big fancy cities. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, this here is the lounge. You can watch TV, chat, or relax however you like. Very cool. Was that a Hisuian, in Hisuian Growlithe statue? And well, let's see. Over there is the cafeteria, and the toilets will be down that way. Cool. Uh, when you want to get some sleep, please use the room down the hall there. We've got enough space that each of you can have a private room to yourself. So I think that about covers everything. But if you run into any trouble at all, don't you hesitate to talk to our fine staff at the desk. Just don't bother me. Thank you for the tour, sir. All right, kids. Do you have anything to say to the staff who are taking such good care of us? Uh, yeah, thanks for having us. And everyone follows my lead, because I'm the best. I just, I just can't get over the direction they went with this woman's design. It's crazy. What a bunch of well-mannered students. I can already uh, tell you're going to be wonderful visitors. And, 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 if uh, the world starts to end while I'm here, I can take care of that for you. So, yeah, you just uh, think of this place as your own home away from home, and relax. You must all be tired after such a long day. I know it's a bit early still, but why don't we have dinner, then call it a night? We've got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you brought your appetites. And, uh, while everybody else is dancing and doing weird shit, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Because, <laughs> uh, AJ is the only normal person here. And you are free to spend the rest of the evening as you like in the community center. Remember that tomorrow the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late, or you might oversleep. It feels like she's um, saying that directly to me here in the real world. Alright, it points me at the thing it wants me to do. I can't rotate the camera in here, that's dumb. Then let me in. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. Okay, I thought that was just the restroom, but, like, that's that's cool. That's very cool, Pokemon. Subtle, but cool. And what's on the TV? Mm, scenery from the trailers. Okay, just go to bed. Who cares? Yeah, sure. Do do do. I love coffee so much. 
definitely something I should be drinking at 2 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> Stuff popping in in the background. I was really hoping they'd fix that by the time this came out. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Like, once it popped in, it looks good, but, like, still. Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. They both suck. Well, the short one's okay, I guess. Hi, I'm Carmine. I'm definitely not a bitch. It's a pleasure to meet all of, uh, all of you outsiders. I mean, visitors from Paldea. He. Uh, hi, I'm Kieran. I'm the nice one. Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. Probably, probably Kieran though. Carmine, I get the feeling would try to trap you in a ditch. And you two had better be of real help. You hear me? Hi, hi. Right. She seems real serious. Now that that's settled, it's not. I can I can tell you that it's not. Why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you? This school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. All right. At first, we'll have you split into pairs. Then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find a snippet of an old folktale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you've completed the task, we ask that uh, each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. Take a photo together in front of each of the three signboards to complete the, the mission. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami. It's brilliant, because it means we don't have to do any work. Learn all about its rich history. Uh, much more fun than sitting around and listening to me ramble on and on. Wonderful um, and accurate. What an innovative idea for a group activity. Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. Totally unnecessary sticks. <laughs> like, what else could it be? I hear these things are all the rage in the big cities. Use them when you take those photos. I'll even teach you a rad pose I came up with all my... Don't. Please don't do that. Don't. Ah, yes. Real rad. <laughs> Remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well will be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle! Carmine just... She looks like trouble, man. Like, like very, very purposefully so. She looks like she wants to be trouble. That kid just teleported? Um, hey, kid. Oh, man. Uh, guess I have to talk to her. You're AJ or whatever, right? Let me guess, you want to pair up with one of us. Poor, lonely, blueberry students. Uh, yes, one of you. <laughs> guess which one? Gosh, it's so sweet of you to go out of your way like that. Uh, what would we ever do without you? Well, the world would be destroyed, but that's beside the point. Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Are you sure you aren't talking about yourself? Because it, it, it sounds like you're talking about yourself. S sis, why are you telling her that for, dummy? Uh, maybe the kid has a crush on me or something, which, uh... I'll have to let him down easy. Hey, watch who you call dummy, if you know what's good for you. Sheep turning into hidden? Dear lord, I don't like this girl at all. Oh, man. And look at him being all shy. He's cringing away from you. See, my brother's no good at talking to people because I'm just so overbearing I'd never let him get a word in edgewise. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like to battle with you. All right. I like him. Well, what do you know? Turns out you're sort of nice. Unlike you, this will make my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki. AJ says she'll battle you. What? But wowzers, really? You don't mind? I like that you say wowzers. It's, it's endearing. She doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everybody else, clear out. Make some space. I, I got this. No, you don't. But it's cute that you think you do. Briar's just chilling. Let's go. Centrit. Interesting. Interesting. 
Wowzers, I can't believe this. I get to battle you. This is awesome. Um, you'd probably be more intimidated than excited if you knew more about me, but it's real sweet. Bring it. Um, all right. That actually hurts me a little. Uh, quick attack, then. It'll actually probably do more damage at this point. Cool. Go ahead and knock yourself out. Literally, if possible. Get it. Not bad. Not bad, kid. You already impressed me more than your sister. Huh? How'd that happen? Oh man, even luck's on your side. No, just overwhelming skill and power. Alright, let's uh, switch guys now at this point, I think. Let's give everybody else something else to do. Yanma? That's interesting. That's two Johto Pokemon. Which, uh, the sister seems to be the more extroverted one, and she had Pokemon from other regions. And then, like, the, the local Applin variant. But, like, maybe they're implying that he just catches local Pokemon? Which might be more evidence that this is supposed to be a, like, an exterior region of Johto. And let's switch to... I mean... My Dragonair might actually be able to win a fight, unlike when it was a Dratini, so let's try that first. I need to start using my new guys more, though. I'll probably put one of them in front next. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Come on. Come on, Buzz Buzz. Uh, Dragon Dance once, I guess. You got this, Yanma! Buzz those wings! See, he likes the buzzing, too. Dear Lord. Alright. Um, that's way more damage than I expected. Hmm. Knock it out speed it, am I? Nope. God. Dragonair, you're really disappointing me. Might I might have to just wait to use that thing until it evolves again. Let's use Puchiana. This is a really bad matchup. I, I was gonna say but, but like, there's there's no but. It's just a really bad matchup. This is probably gonna one shot me, isn't it? God dang it! All right. Who else do I have? If I lose to this kid, I'm gonna be really mad. Go, spin rack. Toxic Threat, I guess. You got this, Yanma. Cut through the wind. Show him what you've got. Oh, it's gonna have a it's gonna have a flying move, isn't it? Well, crap. This kid's actually good. Like really good. Impressed. I am impressed. Uh, draining kiss, I guess. Still faster. Jeez. Alright. Get it. Give me back some health. I need to get like a big root or something for this Pokemon. Again. Not doing much damage to Sylveon, so that's good. Maybe a leftovers would be okay too. Mm, one more. And I should be able to finish it with, like, a quick attack, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much this, this actually does. Eh. So I'm not really a physical ta attacker, so it would be safer to just do this, actually. Not not super interesting, because I'm just using the same move over and over again, but if, if it works, it works, right? Alright, no more, no more toying with this kid. I'm going to take him seriously from now on. That was, um, genuinely impressive. I, I, that was good. Like, if I had come in here with my regular team of, like, level 100 guys, or even my team of other guys I've been bringing in through home that aren't quite that level yet, I would have stomped him, but coming at him with this team, 
This was an appropriate level of challenge. I, I really enjoyed that. <sighs> Who's talking? Saying good show? Briar, maybe? Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. But, wowzers, you sure are strong, AJ. Uh, you too, kid. Honestly. You really aren't half bad. Uh, Kiki is nearly as strong as I am, you know. He's stronger than you, frankly. I don't know about that. Yeah, see, he knows he's stronger than you, too. This orienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki, then. See, so she's warming up a little. I still ain't doing the on air thing. I, I have a fiancé. What? No, sis, don't. Don't what? It's not like we can pair up, or... Uh, were you hoping to pair, partner with some other rando? Outs... Uh, outs... <laughs> I, I, I... I kind of blew right past it. Because that's a word I use in my real life. I never expected to see the word rando in the dialogue of a Pokemon game, though. Well, no, but... Oh, man. This kid really does have a crush on me. It's so cute. Which I imagine would also be there if I was playing the male character, which... Again... Nice, Pokemon. Nice. Uh, but Pokemon's been a little gay since they've introduced the f female protagonist, frankly. Um, not since. When, when did Pokemon start to get a little gay? Probably most explicitly when you could take Serena on a date with Shauna, actually. Hmm. Don't worry, he's just being shy. I'll go find some chump to pair up with, too. And I watch out for my little bro. You. Um, I, 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 I found it less unsettling when you were being horrible. It looks like you're all paired up. Uh, let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those Rotom phones of yours. Uh, I noticed that Kiki here did not get out of Rotom phone. That's interesting. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. Oh, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or Pokeballs or the like, head on over that away way uh, to stop by Peachy's. They'd be happy to set you right. Uh, um, so it looks like we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. And that's out past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. It's close by, and I figure it might, um, make sense to, you know, visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your way if I stick too close, so I'll just follow you from a safe distance like a weird stalker. All right. Wouldn't be the first. Ah, what a weird kid. Cool. Uh, signboard, signboard. What signboard am I going to? Uh, thanks, man. Over that way. Alright. I want a Vulpix. Can I get a Vulpix today? That'd be fun, right? Um, which road am I taking? This one here, okay. Like, there's people with Vulpixes all over the place, so I imagine there's got to be some around here, right? Apple Hills. Bellsprout. Bellsprout Vine! There's the Deccans! Oh, I'm so happy to see all these old Pokemon back. That's so cool. I'm so excited. And look at Ekans, like, like slithering around like a real-ass snake. That's so cute. What are you down there? Just another Poochiana. Okay. You looked, looked like purplish. For a second there. Or just the color fidelity on my TV sucks. There's Pichu. Random barn that does not need to be here, but is, and it looks cool. Still wish there was more stuff to do at these places. I still think that an open world Pokemon game like this needs. There's a bell sprout right there. Needs, like, secret events and unlockable side quests and stuff. All of something like Breath of the Wild. But at the very least, they are making this place look significantly better than anything we saw in the base game. Can I pick these up? No, those are, those are like, just part of the scenery. Okay, that's fine. Grab that. Grab that. Hey, Sentry. And see, I've played as Hero so many times that seeing Johto Pokemon wandering around, 
feels perfectly normal to me. It would be kind of it would be kind of new to AJ, wouldn't it? There's a unique Terra Pokemon. Is that a is that an Applin with a unique Terra type? Let's check that out. Actually, that might be fun. I was I was thinking of using an Applin, right? What are you? Bug. That's not amazing because it doesn't like get rid of its natural weakness or anything. But um, yeah, it's still probably worth it. Draining Kiss, let's go. Level 59, too. That's like higher level than anything I got, and I forgot, I just realized I forgot to heal. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Did it might actually, I was at full health when I started, right? So I got healed after that battle automatically. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Okie dokie. Um, what would be a good ball for an apple? Nest ball probably isn't going to get it, but let's try. Go for it. Cool. Actually surprised. And, um, I... I, I don't know if I necessarily want to go into Diplin, because, again, it's a little weird. But, um... um it grows by eating the flesh of an apple. Okay, that's weird. Um... But, like, that's the new one, so I probably will go into Diplin. Uh, as soon as I figure out how to do that. In the meantime, I did say I wanted to put some of my new guys first. So let's go see what Applin has. No. No. There you go. Uh, astonish and withdraw. Okay. That's garbage. <laughs> so probably don't want to start with him. Let's put Puchiana first, then. Um just why right here yeah. and save real quick while I have a second I'm, I'm probably I'm probably gonna cut out some of that running through TMs from earlier so I do have a little bit more time in this episode so let's at least try to get to the next major, major location first before I uh, sign off for today I also want to do some raids through here. I'll probably do at least some of those between episodes, though. In my own time. Because raids are... They, they're, they're just they're just real samey, you know? It's so good to see some of these older guys pack. I mean, look at this. Look how interesting this little location looks. Uh, give me this. Super Potion. It looked like a rare candy, too. I haven't battled anybody yet. Are you a, a trainer? No, you're not. Uh, hey, I'm a traveling app developer. I uh, see so you've got a Rotom phone somehow. Can you, like, see through my pocket? Uh, here, let me add a snazzy new feature for you. Alright. It's not gonna, like, start mining crypto now or something, is it? Uh, your Rotom phone's been upgraded. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I like it. Hmm, technology really is incredible. What, you just put the front on my case. That's not technology. Hmm, yeah, nice. And makes sense, frankly. Alright, so we're here. I imagine walking up to that sign is going to initiate a cutscene. Let's look around a little first, if we can. Oh, frame rate dipped real fast there. Okay. That's disconcerting. Toxic. 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 I want to see. I want to see. Can Applin learn it? Probably not, right? Toxic. Is toxic better than... Toxic Thread? That lowers speed also. But I think Toxic is probably better. I can always go back, right? Okay. Very cool. And considering that's one of my favorite TMs, give, giving it to one of my Pokemon is probably a pretty okay place to stop the, the episode. So I'll... Uh, 
talk to you guys later.